Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like down below. We got a full breakdown over on Dragon Ball official website for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's uh, episode battle and custom battle modes. They break down all the details, all the options. So let's go over to the website and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are. We're over on their main website. And they have a ton of information breaking down everything and how it works. And I was shocked at the <laughs> some of the stuff you can do in it. All right, so let's go ahead and into this. Okay, so the release date it says episode battle mode, pick a fighter and battle through the story. Because in this single player mode, you can play as one of eight characters, including Goku and Vegeta. It hasn't really said who else you can play as, but I'm guessing the main Z fighters, main characters. Uh, it, and experience classic scenes from their perspective. Plus, on some stages, the story may unfold differently than the original, depending on de depending on depending. <laughs> okay, on how battles go and which choices the player selects, making this a mode that any Dragon Ball fan is sure to love. Cool, and it shows like they showed in the trailer where Goku could go fight him alone or have Piccolo tag along with him. So you get a different outcome. And then right here it says, By picking Goku, the story kicks off when our hero takes his son go on to Kame's house for a long overdue reunion for Raditz suddenly attacks. But when going after Raditz to save Gohan, you'll have the choice between working with Piccolo, like I said, like in the original story, or going it alone. Now I love this stuff. I've been at this one of the first videos I made on this game was saying this is how the story should be. Looks like I was right. Go check out that video. <laughs> All right, let me scroll down a little bit here. If you choose to go alone, it'll be Krillin, Kami, Kami Senin, and Bulma that come along to help rescue Gohan, not Piccolo. And then it shows the fight on you know breakout as Goku and Krillin struggle to fight against Raditz and his overwhelming strength. Piccolo, who had been watching the battle from afar, joins in to help. So it sounds like he joins anyway. Uh, despite Piccolo's assist, the situation just keeps getting worse. Right when things look hopeless, Gohan manages to destroy the pod he was trapped in and lands a full power attack on Raditz. That, that ha kind of happened in the original. And it looks like it shows Krillin throwing a Disrupto disc. Pretty sure he missed him. Yeah. Even while weakened, Raditz manages to dodge Krillin's new work in progress uh, Destructo Disc. This is what it's called, I'm guessing, in Japan. Technique, but the my son manages to catch the alien invader in his lightning flash surprise, which Raditz immobilized. Piccolo unleashes a Masenko Sapo special beam cannon that successfully defeats the mighty Saiyan. However, in this alternate version of events, Goku doesn't die. So he doesn't end up training on the planet of King, you know, King Kai. Uh, does this mean he'll have to take on Vegeta and Nappa without all that additional training? These new plot lines are a whole new way to enjoy the classic Dragon Ball story, so fans will want to play them over and over again to see what happens. So that's really cool. I wonder if they have multiple layers to this. Or is it just like this one has two, this one has two, this one has two, and that's it. Is there like multiple branching paths more than just the two? That would be super cool. All right, episode battle mini report. While playing through the Goku story, I felt that Raditz was super powerful for an enemy that appears so early on. You must defeat Raditz to get the alternate storyline, but since his movements are so precise and he has so much health and attack power, it'll be hard to do on your first playthrough. In playing this demo as Goku, I couldn't help but sympathize with Goku and think to myself, geez, this fight against Raditz Really, it was really tough. When asked, the producer from Bandai Namco, making sure the mic is on, <laughs> uh, Entertainment explained, if, if it were easy to take out enemies that are strong in the original story, it would take away from the role-playing experience. So we made the battles with the tough enemies purposely difficult so they'll be more satisfying. So it sounds like boss characters will be boss characters. That has me a little worried because sometimes these fighting games will have insane difficulty spikes. Like if you've ever played an SNK, Street Fighter, 
any of those old Mortal Kombat games. In Mortal Kombat, it's usually the second to last boss. But yeah, the final boss has this, incre this crazy spike in difficulty, and he's ten times harder than all the other ones. I hope they don't go that route. I mean, obviously, difficult is fine, but overly difficult for the sake of being overly difficult, not so fine. <laughs> Alright, and then uh, role-playing experience. So we made the battles tough for enemies purposely, to make it more satisfying. This level of difficulty means that players will have to work hard to experience the alternate storylines. So if you're able to take down powerful opponents that couldn't be defeated in the original story, then perhaps new developments await you. You'll just have to wait until release day to find out. Nice. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I forget what game it was. I think it was, what did I say, the original Budokai, where that game was hard, man. It actually had combos you had to remember and all that stuff for all the special moves. It was fun, but man, it was hard. And yeah, when you first fight Raditz, because you don't have all the characters unlocked yet, he was controller breakingly hard. <laughs> <laughs> at the time <laughs> especially i think it was budokai 3 where you could level up i can't oh, i think it was that one it was one of the fighting games where you could level up and the higher level you were the more difficult it made them so <laughs> yeah omega shadow was like ah. <laughs> all right and then custom battle mode tons of scenarios all right so while playing through goku story okay so there we got we got that covered now custom battle mode tons of scenarios and battles with special rules it says custom battle is a mode where you can have fun playing through special scenarios and create your own custom battles. Within, you can find extra battle where you'll battle through new situations and even an edit mode where you can create your own battles. I'm still a little fuzzy on how this exactly works, but it looks like you can create your own scenario and it'll like, like your own basically like your own anime and put the fight fighters you want in it and they'll talk to each other and do certain animations like you son of a you know stuff like that so that, that sounds really fun to me I'll be play, spending a lot of time in that in between battles when I get frustrated so extra battle is a mode where players can challenge battles featuring special victory conditions and time limits in this scene showcased in the photos above Vegeta who wants to surpass Goku is being trained by Beerus however Beerus lied about the training Beerus' line about the training being over once he gets bored is definitely concerning. What will happen to Vegeta if he fails to meet Beerus' expectations? And it looks like you can set up the scenario on how it plays out. <laughs> He's got Hercule in there <laughs> versus Beerus. Oh, that's funny. In Extra Battle, you can also change which characters appear and their lines. Nice. As you can see in the photos above, Vegeta was switched out for Mr. Satan, Satan. Uh, he is now the one training under Beerus. Oh, that's hilarious. I hope they ha have, like, they went the extra mile and there's banter that you can put in where he's like, why am I training this buffoon or stuff, stuff like that? Why am I training this weakling? <laughs> uh, edit mode allows you to customize different battle settings to create your own original battle. Here we'll show you how to create or how we created a battle between Fujito and and Gogeta Super at the Tenkaichi Budokai. So, is this what they use for the the footage? Where they were talking smack to each other? If that's the case, that's pretty cool. That means they, were, they had the voice actors record all this extra dialogue just for this mode. That's really cool. They went all out with this game, and that's why I like Dragon Ball so much, or Dragon Ball Z so much. I wish One Piece games got this amount of love, because it's always the Japanese voice actors. It's never the Dragon, you know, or the American voice actors, which is a lot of the Dragon Ball voice actors. <laughs> so this is really cool. Uh, you can configure the character's battle environment and even the things that happen when certain conditions are met. As you can see in the photos below, when the allied team's remaining health falls below 30%, their key will reach 100%. So you set certain battle conditions. Like triggers, like, kind of like in a real video game, you know, like real game design and stuff like that. Here you can configure the camera work, poses, and expressions used when characters enter the arena. In the scene shown here, Vegito has done a backflip to get some distance and is now at the ready while Gogeta is gathering key to provide or provoke him. Nice. 
You can even pick the title card that appears when battle starts, including the background image, text, and music. This mode will allow players to truly create the battles of their dreams. So basically it's like making a YouTube thumbnail for people when they're scrolling online when you upload them to pick which ones they want to try. So that's that's so cool. Like a little YouTube thumb, thumbnail work in there. <laughs> extra battle mini report. All right. The extra battle that I played was one where I played as Vegeta and had to fight to keep Beerus from getting bored. In this battle, if you don't deal 20% damage to Beerus, every 30 seconds, the feline god of destruction will warn you that he's getting bored. Then if you don't inflict damage for another 10 seconds, Beerus will declare that he is too bored to continue the battle and cause the battle to end with one ultra powerful move. This battle was super difficult. So wow, even like, they really went all out with that. Holy crap, like, to be able to just change every little thing. Kind of reminds me of the Mortal Kombat uh, and Smash Brothers where in certain modes they had like like falling debris or you fall over every so many seconds or you had to jump over certain things. It was, it adds a little extra like, ha uh, what do you call that? Environmental hazards and it's just crazy stuff like that. Uh, I wonder if they have that too. Like it'll be sh snowing asteroids or something makes you really wonder what how far you can go with this all right coming to this mode 10 seconds super difficult when i was playing it was really hard to actually deal damage to beerus and that combined with the time limit ended up making it too difficult for me to win you'd really have to try over and over and over to memorize beerus attack patterns to win i am really looking forward to seeing what other battles will be coming to this mode nice so when this comes out, a lot of players and YouTubers are going to be like, here's a new scenario, here's a new scenario, go try this out. This is what I'll be doing a lot when the game comes out. I'll be making up random scenarios for you guys, assuming uh, the videos get more views because they're not doing too well. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I was amazed at the sheer number of options offered in edit mode, from characters and stages to pre-battle dialogue and battle effects, you can change almost anything you can think of. In addition, since you can even adjust slow motion, effect frames, nice, and camera settings, you can really create your own original battle just as though you were editing a video. Yeah, see? You can even copy the settings from extra battle and only change parts you want, making it easy for anyone to create their own battles. So you can copy the settings from extra battle. Does that mean you can copy like the settings for someone who uploaded a battle and then go through and change it? Kind of like they do in WWE 2K24, where you can download wrestlers, change what you want on it, copy it, and then re-upload it because it's a copy. So people steal people's creations all the time. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, that concludes our early look at the new modes debuting Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So yeah. So that's super cool. That makes me more hyped about this. I'm, I'm glad I read through this because I, I didn't really have a great understanding of what exactly you could do in, in the custom battle mode. Man, October cannot get here soon enough. So which one are you more excited for? Are you excited for the custom battles? Or are you more excited for the alternate scenarios in the story mode? As always, thank you for watching and stay frosty.